Hey friends, it's Antonio and welcome to Back at the Ranch. So we got my buddy Pablo and I back at the ranch here. And it's been raining the last few weeks. We haven't been here in what, three weeks now? Something like that, three it's weeks. It's been a while since mm -hmm. the last time we've been here. So look at that grass, it, it's growing. So we're gonna check out the property. We're gonna hit some of the, the feeders that need to be topped off. And we're gonna take you on this ride to show you how we fill up the feeders. All right, so we came to the back of our field here. Uh, this is our cleaning area, so we've got a small game hoist here. Uh, we usually put it down though because the uh, the hogs will come around and knock it over so it doesn't bend. But the reason we stop here today is we got a couple of maintenance items that we've got to take care of on, on this and a uh, feeder. So basically this mechanism here has a switch that goes up and down. You'll notice we have a stick in here from the last time. I don't think we took it out. Uh, but this little switch messed up on it. So we're gonna take this apart and uh, put it back together properly And then we're gonna move on to the next section. So I'll set this up on a tripod and show you how we fix that All right, so while Pablo's Looking at that I'm gonna grab the tools What do we need there three eighths? It'll be metric <laughs> did You bring any metric with you just in case? Yes, I did All right, so I got my tools. Where are we at here? Yes, sir. So that was a little too small. What is that? That's a nine. You need 10 millimeters. Ah, don't tell me it's a 10. <laughs> that's the only one you do. That's the that's one that's always missing. <laughs> <laughs> I have a drawer of nothing but 10, a whole bunch of 10 millimeters. <laughs> here, this is a 3 8 and, and I still lose them. That's no, not a 3 8 oh. Actually, it went in on that side. No, it's still no. kind of tight. I'll dig for the 10 in a second because it was not on the Here's the 10. <laughs> Nailed it. You got that? Yeah. Got so basically what we need to do is take this screw off to remove this here. Flip it back over because right now it, it, it just won't lock. It won't flip the way it's supposed to. We're not sure how that happened, but it happened. And once that's in place, we're pretty much done here and we'll put her back down. Uh, I wonder how it happened, dude. I'm we probably just forced it the wrong direction. Because it needs to go up on top of yeah. this one. So I'll hold that over here. I was sort of afraid of it. What I we knew this, the uh, washer. It's a spacer that goes in between the... Was it chrome or is it... No, it's it's rusted. So you gotta... It's in between this, this here, this grass here. I think the next project, Pablo, we're gonna build a little cement floor for this thing. <laughs> I don't see it. Right next to the rabbit scat. Here it is. Camouflage. Told you. Just a little spacer, that's all it is. Want something to tap it with? <clears throat> Today's EDC, by the way. Gerber pliers, because I knew that we might be doing something like this. <laughs> you tap it. Oh, got it. Perfect. I dropped something else though. The screw. The nut? Yeah, the nut. No, the no, nut. No, 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 no. Oh, nuts. I oh, dropped the nut. I was about to say, <laughs> oh, nuts. <laughs> I heard the th uh, Here it is. That's why I don't work on boats. <laughs> so this hoist, I'm trying to remember the brand of this thing is a uh, HME hunting made easy got this at Academy I want to say it was like 150 160 dollars so not the highest quality but man it gets the job done you know we've lifted quite a few deer and hogs on this thing As matter of fact I'll throw in a few photos of, of hogs that, uh, that that Pablo's gotten actually the last couple of big hogs have been all Pablo so they cleaned those babies on here and it, it held up pretty well I want to think I want to say this thing is rated for 400 pounds, 350, somewhere around there. So it, it handles those hogs really well. Um, it is a little on the flimsy side simply because it is modular. So this can be taken apart, thrown in the back of the truck, relocated. You have these uh, pins right here um, that hold it together. So the leg is three pieces. So you have basically nine pieces for the legs. You have a uh, this, the tripod or the, tri the triangle at the top that holds the legs in. 
Uh, this is also removable, so we you know, put our knives, sharpening stones, and what, what we need there. Uh, you do have these um, straps, right? So wire straps basically go from leg to leg to help support that weight. Uh, what I like to do next time is hopefully we get a chance to build a, a cement pad to where we can just bolt them in, not have to worry about these, and we won't have to lay, lay it down and worry about the hogs knocking it over. So, but uh, it does come with this uh, hook right here as well, which is the game hook. And right now it's in reverse. We'll test it out. The way it works. Now flip the switch. So hopefully the switch is working the way it's supposed to now. There we go. And there we go. Put some weight on it. And she's working. Back in business. There we go and uh, that's all we needed to do with this one so we're ready for next time we don't have to worry about uh, fixing it and using the macgyver tool ready for the next harbor yeah when that broke this is what held up a 250 pound hog <laughs> that was that was fun <laughs> you got that time yes sir so again we lay this down because when we do clean this area that scent stays down here in hogs and other predators come by, or predators come by, they'll sniff around, but the hogs will shove this thing over, knock it over. And uh, it did fall over a couple of times already in a few little dings and dents here, but it works. So highly recommended if you need something that's affordable and portable. So we'll see you at the next stop. We've got one more of those to change. All right, tools are packed up. Off to the next tripod. So the next one is actually a feeder, so we need to top off the feeder. But we also need to fix the crank. We're gonna actually replace the uh, cable on it because it's really rusted. And we might even replace the crank. Did you bring a new crank for that other one? Uh, not a crank, but the cable. Just the cable. So we're, we're just gonna replace the cable, cable right now. The cable is nice and, and rusty. We, we will top off that feeder. Show you what it takes to top off a feeder. Uh, then we got two more. And uh, yeah, we'll see you at the feeder. So that's what had me worried right now. What's that? The the feeder. This one is. I was thinking it was got too empty. They could knock it down now. Oh, that, I see what you know you're what saying. Mean? Yeah, lighter weight. All right, the next stop. We've got here a 55 gallon drum filled with corn. Well, it might be empty now. It's been a while since we filled it. Uh, but what we are going to do is, you can see. That, that uh, wire has seen much better days, so we need to change that wire. So we're bringing this baby down right now, and we're gonna swap that wire out. All right. Damn, that cable looks nasty, brother. You have lubricant spray? I didn't bring it. I'm afraid that these might snap. You want to try this first before we take that apart? What do you mean? We can snap it. I have replacement. Oh, okay. We're good then. Yes. All right, so we got that cable off and uh, we just realized we can't reach way up there to get the other cable down. So he's backing up the truck. We're gonna put it up here. And hopefully we can reach. Um, Cause we don't want to take this tripod down. It's pretty much already settled in place. The more we move it, the less stable it becomes. So. Did you reach there? Let's see. We got the plastic on top. Be careful, don't slip. Yeah, I'll reach it. Awesome. Uh, we're gonna need those wire cutters. Is what you're yeah, saying, that's right? what I'm saying. It's a lot of. It's a lot of cable. Um, I brought I brought in case that that other would need it. Well, let's get this bolted on first. So I don't know if you guys can pick it up on the microphone here, but we hear doves, we hear mockingbirds, we hear green jays. I hear some bird sounds right now that I don't even recognize, but it is peaceful out here. Oh, yeah. I think you're, um, you're getting a loose already. Yeah, let's, let's put it here, 
um, an unusually quiet day as far as road traffic is concerned. As you guys know the road is not too far from where we're standing now. When we're hunting, you can hear cars going by. I haven't heard a single one. No. Nope. It's been very peaceful today. Mm -hmm. Overcast, I'd say it's low 80s. Uh, feels like it's in the 70s though, because we have a nice little, little breeze. Little breeze and little rain coming down. Even days like this, you know, it's like, feels like a work day, but it doesn't, you know? Ah, uh, never a work day here at the ranch. But yeah, coming out at the ranch, it's not always hunting. It's not always looking for wild animals. Sometimes it's doing stuff like this, get away. And my wife messaged me on the way over here and said, have fun, be safe, watch out for snakes. I'm doing all those things, honey, if you're watching. The last time we were here for maintenance, shortly after deer season and there we go cut the grass open up some senderos looked really nice it's been a while what two months yeah we got two foot grass again time to bring that mower back out so all right so this is done we need to go get some uh wire cutters wire cutters that i've got in the other blind so we're gonna stop right now go get those wire cutters Come back, cut this to length. That way we don't waste do you have, the whole roll. Do you have tape by any chance? There is some sports Electrical. tape in there that should get the job done. And we are gonna be topping off feeders. So this one, that's a 55 gallon drum. And it's actually empty. We haven't filled that thing up in a few months. Um, this is a primary one that we run most of the year uh, generously, I should say, because the other ones only run about four seconds morning four seconds in the evening this one i think we have it for like 10 15 seconds in the morning i think maybe does a quick spray like at 1 30 in the afternoon then another 10 or 15 seconds in the evening um so that'll probably take oh, a good 10 or 15 bags so we've got two four six six or seven bags but uh the bags that we got uh we actually got a uh, 50 percent off uh, Thanks Andres, by the way, for hooking us up with that discount. So we knew that we we're gonna use this primarily for, for hogs, not so much for, for deer, but some of this is gonna go into the feeder. But here's where we got a 50% discount. We got some mold in here. So we're gonna try to dump some of this, not try to, we're going to dump some of this out for the hogs that are, that are moldy. You'll see he's putting on his gloves because it is pretty smelly if you can smell that. You wouldn't like it very much. Yeah, smelly vision. Smelly vision is not invented yet, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> so um, some of these, though, uh, we noticed that some of them don't really have that much mold in them. So those are going to go into the feeder, and the ones that do, I'm going to kind of spread out for the wildlife. Perfect though. Is that as far as it went? Yes. All right. So it's got a little bit of play. But I'll, it, I'll, I'll prefer it there. Yeah, it's better there than it was before. Yeah. You want to yeah. test it out? Timer? You're good. Let's set the timer on this one. Ooh, look at all that corn. Is that moldy? <laughs> no, it's actually should be good corn. All right, let's see here. Okay, time's correct. Feed, 620. You hear the turkey in the second? Yeah. 620 is good? Nine seconds? 620 is good. All right, so we got three sprays. Yeah, it's more than sufficient. For a test. Hmm? Watch your eyes. Six second countdown. And she works. All right. We're good. And battery is charging. Yes, it is. That's our basic maintenance. 
check the cables, check the batteries, check the food levels, make sure the motor's working every two weeks. Okay, so. The last three bags of corn are all moldy. So we got a plan. I'm gonna sit on the tailgate. We're driving over to the other uh, feeder to do something over there. As we're driving, I'm gonna be dumping this out the back. So, I'll see you on the road. I'm excited to try this one out. My kids are gonna be like, Dad, that's not safe. It's all right, kids, I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. Last of it, almost at 400 yards worth. So we're actually at the uh, hog dominium feeder now. So we're gonna top this one off. I've got a trail cam here where I'm gonna check the uh, camera, change the camera out for it. See me the uh, memory card. I'll show you what that camera looks like. Tell you a little bit about it. And if you want to know more about it, like me to do a review and show you how it works, I can do that in a future video. Just let me know down in the comments. Once we're done with this feeder, um, we're pretty much done with working on feeder. So we were gonna do a third feeder, but all that moldy corn really wasn't worth it. Not, not worth our time. All right, so we're done topping that one off. Did that in little time-lapse mode for you so you wouldn't have to watch that whole thing in slow motion. But we had a little bit of that moldy corn here. We got some of the good corn up there. I uh, wanna show you something real quick before we head out. This is a trail cam that I use here and some of the photos and videos that you guys have seen. This is the Keen by Real Link. Um, it's got tilt, pan, zoom. I actually just pulled the card out of that a few minutes ago and I'll throw up some of the videos for you so you can see what that looks like. But if you'd like to know more about this, this is a cellular camera, solar powered, so this thing pretty much is, runs on its own. I don't have to pay anything uh, as far as subscriptions are concerned. Just need to pay for my data, uh, which is very cheap. Uh, if you'd like to know, learn more about it, let me know and I can do a review on that for you. So we're pretty much done with feeders uh, this time around. We've got a few more things to do. But uh, that wraps it up for today's video. I really appreciate you guys uh, sticking around and seeing how we uh, basically feed the wildlife out here. And we really feed them all year round. We only hunt them for about a month or two. So they, they like coming and eating this food. You know, I tell you, it's, it's fun to watch and fun to do. So thanks for hanging out this far, really appreciate it. Again, this is Antonio. See you next time, back at the ranch.